I look to you. I look to you. Cause when all my strength is gone, when you I hear a song, I look to you. I look to you. When all my friends are gone, but in you I hear a song, I look to you. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house. Sports, and, I mean, mental house. Actually, this this is going to be loaded up on my real R&B channel, but I have to do this, and I had to open it up with that. So no matter what side of the diaspora that you want, welcome to the mental house. I know I'm going to get some flack for this video. And, okay, I stepped into the arena for it, so whatever happens, happens. But I just got to weigh in. I got to weigh in. Way in, got way in for numerous reasons. First of all, let me say right here, I'm not condoning anything R. Kelly is about. Okay. I'm not. Um, he needs to be dealt with for his transgressions. Okay. According to whatever transgressions that he's guilty of in this modern day world. Okay? Now, let me get going because as y'all know, I have a, a a knowledge, a small knowledge base of R. Kelly when I was with Sugar Hill. Okay? Sugar Hill featuring Khadija Amor, and I'm going to say it now. And if y'all think I'm playing and this is some type of game that I'm playing with y'all, y'all just... I, I happen to be on the internet scrolling, and one of my earliest recordings are on there with Sugar Hill. I was like about 12, 13 years old. And so this story really hits home for me, and I'm going to take it slow. I'm not going to worry about how much time it takes to do this video. I want to take my time and speak from my heart because I do have some notes. But at this point, it's everything is so hypocritical and crazy that I don't think that I really need them. I really want to speak from my heart. Where do I begin? First of all, I want to remain as objective as possible because R. Kelly, Robert Sylvester, is my little brother. Real talk, without the money, and he's my adopted brother. Let me say this first of all. Uh, but I'm the only sister he knows. Because he was with us since he was a small, small little child, baby. Toddler. He even diagnosed with alcohol fetal syndrome. Which is a very, which is a very serious diagnosis just like Centonia um Brown the one that just got released from prison for killing the sex predator that was a, an adult that um in that hotel room so not only do I have some experience with this on both sides I got some experience because like again I'm not that much older than, than our Robert I call him R because of the predator in him um but again with that being said, I want you to hear me, and I want you to hear me good. Because this is ghetto life. Ghetto life. We're going to stop it right here. When I was in high school, the pastor of the church used to come down to the high school and pick up one of the students that also went to the church that he was having sex with. 
in my neighborhood where I grew up at, not in so much, I mean, I can remember seeing older men <laughs> pick up younger women. I told y'all about the time I jumped out the goddamn car. I got y'all gonna have to let me be frank with this. I had no business getting into the car with the man in the first place, but I wanted to ride to school. So we're gonna start here. And I'm gonna take the, although I know that these are children, I wanna be careful with my words because there are children that listen to me that respect what I say, and I have to make sure that I cover them and, I, and that I practice what I preach. As a musician, listen, just like that song say, Mom, don't let your, baby, your babies grow up to be cowboys. When you're chasing people that are very, very creative and you hang around them, nothing surprises me in terms of what they do, what they say, because what comes out of us is usually out of a lot of pain, okay? Whether you respect it or whether you're not either, it could come from molestation. And as y'all know, Robert is a victim himself. The things that I heard that Robert did, like piss on girls, this is nothing new. This information is old stuff. We've been knowing it for 20-something years. What I want to talk about is all the people that took money from Robert. The families that knew this was going on, and in the get in the in the inner city, more than likely we don't know hardly no rich people. We don't know somebody that got six figures or a million dollars, and most of us don't even know people that roll like that. Okay, so when R. Kelly come through, like the Pied Piper, still hanging out in the hood, still going because his education level was not that high. Like my brother, who will be forty years old. But he has, none of his girlfriends are, um, uh, 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 well, they're not, they're 18 and over. So when they get too old, they don't even want to deal with him because they understand how immature that he really is. The difference is he's not a musical genius like Robert, okay? Miss McLean and all of y'all knew that Robert was hanging around the school. Everybody know, you've seen it, you've seen it. And instead of y'all looking at him as a uh, as just a predator, nobody's looking at him and nobody's looking at the adults and that help perpetuate his sickness because it's the price that they were paid. I mean, out of all the stories that I'm hearing, and most of them, is irresponsibility, and I don't mean to talk about anybody. In my opinion, because I live all the way, well, I live an hour in the way, I live an hour away from Chicago. So we go and work in Chicago all the time, in most of the studios, and in my day, people go, we go back and forth. A lot of us that record, those we go record in Chicago. So this is common knowledge, even for me, who's about six who's about seven, six, seven years older than Robert. I remember my flute player, again, having a serious crush on him and somebody telling her, girl, you too old for him. And those are just my studio recording days. Robert Kelly is retarded. I hate to say it like that. People say, well, just say he can't read or write. No, 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 no. He's got some mental deficiencies like my brother. I don't know if his what his mother was doing, what he was carrying. And I know none of y'all care either. But what you're not going to sit up here and do is paint this picture of a monster when you have people being paid off who I really see as a monster. And I really hate to do this because Harvey Weinstein is Harvey Weinstein and Robert Kelly is Robert Kelly. But you don't hear all of this, don't y'all see it? No, nobody care about them. No, it ain't just because they're black girls. It's not just because of that. Robert did what his stupid, low-lifed, crazy, uh, oversexed mindset led him to do. And guess what? 
a lot of people followed him because they wanted money. And that's the hardest thing to think of. The hardest thing to think of is a lot of these parents put their children in positions so they can have some money. Do I blame the whole environment or do I blame the environment that, that makes a, like there's a scripture saying, Lord, don't make me so rich that I forget where I come from. Uh, I mean, that I don't know pain or anything, but don't make me so poor. Then I'm not saying that these people, but I am saying that these people are poor. I am saying. And he represented a, 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 a retarded cash cow that if you can catch him in his weakness, you can get whatever you wanted. And that's what he represents. And in the hood, that go on all day long. Finding people that you can gank or whether they're young. R. Kelly decided Robert got young girls because that's all he can go with. Ain't nobody else going for this shit he want to do to them, piss on them and stuff. No older, mature woman is going to even go for something like that. Are you kidding me? Well, they might if they a certain type. But it's easier to manipulate a younger person. And then by no means do I want y'all to misconstrue me that I'm making any excuses for him. Because I'm not. And he needs to do, he needs to be stopped. Because it's a sickness. Okay, it's a sickness. But with that being said, however, I should say, I should say, but. I don't think it should start with stop with Robert. What hurt me the most out of this whole story, and I had to relive it, was Aaliyah. That's what hurt me. Because the Haltons and Barry Hankerson, you put your niece in that situation. And Barry, I don't trust you after you tried to do all what you did to Gladys Knight and then took that poison and stuff, you know. You remember what you did back in the day. Back in the day, what you did was so weird. It let me know that Gladys needed to get away from you. So your ulterior motives for me are really shaky. All I'm saying is, not saying that Robert shouldn't be held accountable, but if y'all really could understand how this man's mind worked, it only worked for music. And he's a narcissist. How can he help not be in this society that breeds him? Then he makes all of this God-given, uh, uh, just you, you, universal music that when he sing, write a song, the world sing it back. That's a gift that he hear the music in his head that way. God made him special like Quincy. And people sit around him all the time because they want to suck up that. And then they want to manipulate him too. I know. Robert, you need help. You're going to get it because everybody that went around you that had some kid, a young lady, the late young lady got molested. But I don't want to see all these people out here talking stuff because they know they. some of them sit at the picnic with their accuser at the family reunion. Because black people don't want to, first of all, we'll, we'll sit at the family reunion with somebody that raped us and then tell them, don't get the kids, get them, get them away from uh, uncle so-and-so because you know how he act. What the hell he doing at the picnic? Y'all got to excuse me, I'm all over the place, but I'm a little emotional. I had two other people that were supposed to help me at the last minute they chickened out because they don't want to talk about rock. You know, one of them don't want to talk about them because, you know, they just decided that once the camera turned on, they wanted to keep their opinion to themselves. But I just didn't want to do it because I, I'm going to be honest with you. I never did like his aggressive music. I thought it was way too sexually aggressive. And um, I would tell, um, you know, People that sometimes want to, or when they want to play it, I'd be like, you know, I don't like that. It was too aggressive. So I wasn't with that. But I was with drinks in the air. I mean, and I'm not going to give that up. Mute R. Kelly. But I got a president 
that talks about grabbing women by the pussy and he's still up in there? But I'm going to mute R. Kelly. Y'all, what's wrong with y'all? What's wrong with you? I am open enough to know. I just don't want to hear a runch from him because it takes me to where his desires are. But are you going to go and take Elvis Presley off the box? Mm, take him off. Don't never play nothing by Jerry Lee Lewis. I mean, come on. Don't never play nothing by him. Where does it end? I mean, where is it going to end? What do you, I mean, how are we going to do this? And at this point, I know y'all, a lot of y'all are going to be mad, but I want you to know by no man means am I condoning R. Kelly. Robert, you got to pay for what you did. The lives and the destruction path that you led people down, you wounded, you attracted a bunch of wounded people, and y'all just cannibalized one another. Because all of those women were there, and they got something out of it. And those young girls are so impressionable, so I'm not going to talk about them. But those women, 17, you made up your mind. 17, I made up my mind. I was traveling the whole world, singing all across the world at 17. And if I did anything... I wanted to do it. Why don't y'all go back and get Drew Barrymore and, and pull her up front and let's talk about all the stuff she was exposed to as a kid. Sure, it, was, it wouldn't be nice. All I'm saying is without making it seem like I'm just um, all up R. Kelly Roberts' ass is that when poverty breeds this kind of craziness and when you don't have anything and you have somebody that has access and they're right in your community and they're right in your hood and they never left um, and their mental capacity is just not that high. In the hood, there's a lot of predators. So either you're going to be a predator or you're going to be a, be the prey. Robert was both. Little kids grow up to be big kids. Okay, so some of the damage that was done to him, he in turn did to somebody else. And when you're not dealing with a capacity of a person that has a lot of, of you know, just forethought. Because you would think that after the trouble he got into the first time and all the pictures when they uh, raided his house in Florida and found the pictures, those, those that case was dropped because it was of, a, of an illegal search, if I remember correctly. Y'all, before y'all start talking about R. Kelly, know how to learn how to eat the meat and throw away the bone. If you can sit up in there with Donald Trump Talking about he grabbed people by the pussy. I mean, and he's holding the highest office. He's paying prostitutes. And Holes is coming up talking about they've been with Donald Trump and all this. Y'all ain't muting him. And you're not holding any of these parents accountable. I'm very suspect of the Savage family. I'm very skeptical of the other family that everybody said, I was with my kid. I was with, let me tell you something. Because I know about show business. One day I'm going to get my daughter on here and y'all talk to her. She'll tell you how strict I was to the point that we can talk about it now. You know why? Because I know how the shit go. She wasn't go go to nobody's house to go sing and go spend the night over nobody's house and do none of that. We don't play these them games. And we didn't. She tell you about it right now. You never let me spend the night over nobody. I sure didn't. Sure didn't. 
They might have uncles, cousins, brothers, whoever might decide to come and pay them a visit. And you sitting up there, you don't be the first person to have, that they have sex with. And the way my kids say it, you're going to be the first ones they fuck. Now, let's keep it real. So we never did it. She ain't never go over nobody's damn house. Not like that. Now, and definitely had to spend no damn night. So y'all, get away from me with that. And until you stop Reverend Paul Chop from going down to the church and picking up the girls and all these older men that are picking these girls up from high school all the time. All the time. People in the office talking about, look at her, she's so fast. Instead of doing something about it, instead of having a, a sex prevention squad up or somebody, one, let one of them some of them securities out there take license plates. Y'all hire enough security in the school. Let them take license plates of all the uh, a plates that look like they pick up uh, little kids. And you see the girls get in there and kiss or whatever. I don't like what's happening. I really don't. I think it's very hypocritical. I think it's very deceptive. And as far as I'm concerned, I can't mute R. Kelly. I just can't. All right. I know y'all ain't going to like what I said, so please leave your comments below. I'll take them good and bad. We don't have to agree. We can agree to disagree. But that's what I think. You know? And until you deal with somebody like that, you don't even know what you're talking about. With that being said, like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.